Hi, this is Claudine from Rolling in Cloth. I'm going to talk about how to use GIMP when you're doing a machine-made buttonhole. Now, this is GIMP. I bought it from Wawak.com. They sell all kinds of thread. And um, it isn't really a thread. It's much more like a cord. Uh, it's sort of like got a thread in the middle and then another thread wrapped around it and you can see it like frays quite a bit at the end. So I'm just going to cut off that end so it's straight. Now I have uh, a vintage singer with a buttonholer obviously and it is um, it's just what I always use for my buttonholes. If you would want to do this um, with a modern machine I'm sure you could get it working. Now I'm going to start, um, it, I have a keyhole buttonhole in. I'm going to start on the opposite end from the keyhole. Pull my thread over. Lower the foot. Take one stitch and leave the needle in. I'm going to position the gimp. right up against the needle. I'm going to lower the foot. So now if I position the gimp properly, the needle will zigzag over the gimp. I'm going to go really, really slowly. Now, I hope you can see this. It's stitching over the gimp. Okay, this is important. After you do, I don't know, 10 stitches or so, you need to pull the gimp so that the end of the gimp is under your stitches. You don't want the gimp to be sticking out at the end. Okay, so I just did that. I'm going to continue with my buttonhole. Now when it starts to do the keyhole, you need to be super careful. And you need to take the gimp and sort of move it around so it continues to zigzag over the gimp. And at this point I use the hand wheel quite a bit. And you can see I'm lifting up the foot as well. Missed a stitch there. There. Make sure it's nice and straight. Now, when you get toward the end of your first pass, cut the gimp so it's a little tiny bit shorter than your buttonhole. So this end of the gimp will be covered as well.
now I'm going to do a second pass. It can go more quickly than the first. Cut it open. You have a really lovely tailored buttonhole, and I think I'll hold it so you can sort of see that um, that the stitches really, really protrude. They really stick up very nicely. So there you have it. Thank you.